The communication tools needed to run a successful business keeps changing. At KKP Halifax, we're expanding our capabilities to keep pace. We deliver consistent high quality while meeting promised deadlines. KKP Halifax, a division of the Quick Copy Group of Companies. Nikita Alexandrov joining me here prior to the Sea Dogs and the Islanders here this afternoon. Nikita, tell me about your, your second season, your second season in the Quebec League and uh, obviously uh, more points here at the break than you had all of last season. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's pretty good so far. Um, I'm more comfortable this year than I was last year. Um, now that I have more games, I think I'm now at 100 games. Uh, so uh, it's, I think it's a good experience now. So um, now I can play my game in the league and can improve it like every game, every practice, so I'm happy with it now. As a 17-year-old rookie, at 31 points last year, here we are, as I say, at the, at the, just after the Christmas break, you got 32 points. Why have you been able to point to some reasons why you've been able to become more of an offensive force? Um, I think I just get a bigger role now. Um, as a, uh, Last year I was still a rookie and I had to get, a, like, get accomplished with all the uh, all the surroundings, um, I think now I'm in a good spot. What was the most difficult part of that transition, that adjustment? What did you find the most difficult part? Uh, I think just a new life, um, like living in a beloved family. Um, it's like completely different than back home. And for example, now in hockey, the smaller ring is faster and it's harder. So, uh, but now I think I'm um, in really good shape now. Almost a point a game this, this year with the Islanders. Uh, describe the, the player that you think you are in that Islanders lineup when you're at your top of your game. Um, I think I'm, I'm a good playmaker. Um, I make a lot of plays for my team um, Yeah, to win, to win the game and especially like help other players like to improve their game and improve myself too. So I think, yeah, that's why I'm, what I'm good at. 31 points, I believe. Here we are just going into the second half of the season. He's got... Uh, he's already passed that, that number. Uh, tell me a little bit about how, why he's been able to be so much more an offensive force. Well, I think the part is being used to the league and in the smaller ice surface. And, and the other thing that happened is uh, Brett Budgel came to us after Christmas last year, and the two you know, seemed to create a, an instant bond. They're really good friends off the ice, and they've been playing together ever since, and it's been a pretty good combination for us. Lots of hockey to come, but it is his, his draft year. Um, have you got a sense as to, I mean, you're talking to scouts, uh, they're still evaluating, but uh, have you got a sense of where he might fall in the draft? Uh, it's hard to say. There's still a lot of hockey to, to left to play, but, you know, um, you know, from talking to scouts and almost every team has asked to have an interview with him, uh, hopefully he's going to be going somewhere in the top three rounds. I mean, the rest of the season has a lot to, to say where it's going to happen, and it's hard to say. Like, NHL teams, don't, they keep their cards pretty close to the chest, so we'll wait and see in June players excel at this level they don't always make that step to play at the pro level based on what you've seen from him is he the type of player that can develop into a pro i think so we see a lot of similar similarities with uh philip schlapik that was with us before and it's kind of you know two blonde kids coming from europe they wear the same number it's at first we're like it's just because he's wearing the number but as he develops we're seeing that competitiveness that uh, philip developed in his 19 year old year after ottawa told him he had to change that so we're hoping that Nikita is ahead of the game on that one.